Want to score over 850 in your fundamentals exam? Then let's get started. A client is receiving a blood transfusion. Which sign or symptom indicates a potential transfusion reaction? Slight itching at the infusion site, mild facial flushing, back pain, or rapid onset of dyspnea and chest pain? The correct answer is D. A rapid onset of dyspnea and chest pain can indicate a severe transfusion reaction, such as an acute hemolytic reaction, and requires immediate intervention. A client is prescribed a medication to be administered intramuscularly. What should the nurse do to minimize the risk of injury during the injection? Apply a warm compress to the injection site, use a small gauge needle, aspirate before injecting, or administer the medication quickly? The correct answer is C. Aspirating before injecting ensures that the needle is not in a blood vessel, reducing the risk of injecting medication into a blood vessel. A client is admitted with dehydration, which assessment finding indicates a potential complication of dehydration, decreased heart rate, decreased blood pressure, increased urine output or increased skin turgor? The correct answer is B. Dehydration can lead to a decrease in blood volume resulting in a drop in blood pressure. A nurse is caring for a client with impaired gas exchange. What position should a nurse encourage to improve oxygenation? Supine, Fowler's, Trendelenburg, side lying. The correct answer is B. The Fowler's position where the patient is sitting up with the upper body elevated promotes lung expansion and helps improve oxygenation. A client is receiving IV antibiotics. What action is essential for the nurse to take to prevent infection? Changing the IV tubing every 12 hours, keeping the IV side dry, slowing the IV infusion rate, applying a compress to the IV site. The correct answer is B. Keeping the IV site dry helps prevent bacterial growth and reduces the risk of infection. A nurse is teaching a client about the importance of hand hygiene. Which statement by the client indicates understanding? I only need to wash my hands before meals. I should wash my hands for at least 5 seconds. Hand hygiene is not necessary if I use hand sanitizer. I should wash my hands thoroughly for at least 20 seconds. The correct answer is D. The recommended duration for effective hand washing is at least 20 seconds. A client with a history of heart failure is prescribed a low-sodium diet. Which food item should the nurse recommend as a suitable snack for this client? Potato chips, fresh fruits, pretzels, canned soup. The correct answer is B. Fresh fruits are generally low in sodium, making them a suitable choice for a client on a low-sodium diet. A nurse is caring for a client who has recently lost a family member. The client appears tearful and withdrawn. What is the nurse's best initial action? Encourage the client to talk about the deceased family member. Provide the client with a list of support groups in the community. Distract the client with activities to take their mind off the lost. Allow the client time and space to express their feelings. The correct answer is D. In the initial stages of grief, individuals may need time and space to process their emotions. Allowing the client to express their feelings without pressure can be therapeutic. It is important for the nurse to provide a supportive and empathetic presence. A nurse is assessing a client's vital signs. The client's blood pressure is 160 over 90. What is the nurse priority action? Record the blood pressure reading in the client's chart. Retake the blood pressure in the opposite arm, inform the client that the blood pressure is elevated, administer an antihypertensive medication as ordered. The correct answer is B. Before taking any action based on a single blood pressure reading, it is important to rule out factors such as arm positioning or equipment error. Retaking the blood pressure in the opposite arm helps ensure accuracy and provides a more reliable assessment of the client's blood pressure. A client has undergone abdominal surgery and is experiencing pain. The nurse administers a prescribed opioid analgesic. What is the nurse's priority action after administering the medication? 
document the pain assessment and medication administration in the client's chart, assess the client's pain level and vital signs at regular intervals, encourage the client to ambulate to promote pain relief, withhold any additional pain medication until the next scheduled dose. The correct answer is B. After administering opioid analgesics, it is crucial for the nurse to monitor the client for pain relief and potential side effects such as respiratory depression. Regular assessments of pain level and vital signs allow for timely identification of any adverse reactions or the need for additional pain management interventions. Documentation is important, but assessing the client's response to the medication takes precedence.